Hey everybody, welcome back to Hard for Games. My name is Tony and today we're talking about the Switch. Just got this the other day, so I ha just have some very, you know, starter first impressions, so to speak. Uh, I do want to cover a couple different topics though in this video, including my like super early impressions when I first unboxed it. Um, I also want to talk about whether or not the system fulfills its promise of being both a console and also a handheld system. I want to talk about its potential and you know I want to throw out some predictions out there for what I think the Switch 2.0 version will have, i.e. like the PS4 Pro or the you know, Xbox Scorpio or, or the new 3DS, inevitably when Nintendo realizes there are a couple flaws with this thing and kicks out another version. Let's get started with those very first impressions. All right, finally got the Nintendo Switch here. Got it from Meyer last night, which is like a regional uh, Midwest department store. Got Breath of the Wild, already opened this bad boy up. As you can see here, the cartridges are super, super tiny. And we're gonna open this up. We're gonna do an unboxing video. Kind of strange, there's no like tape on this thing. <laughs> These are tiny. Oh my goodness. I mean, I knew they were small, but these are like much smaller than I was actually expecting. Oh my goodness. Wow, all right. You know, I, I actually wanted the neon ones. The red, uh, was it like red and blue? But unfortunately, Beggars can't be choosers. I had to take what I could get. Come on. Uh, I gotta try to get this out of here without breaking it. Oh, this is actually... I mean, I guess it's the whole console, right? It has a little bit of weight to it. Huh. All right, well, let's, let's try this thing here. All right. I mean, I knew it was, I knew it was gonna be small, but actually from all the videos I've seen, I actually kind of expected it to be, expected it to be like bigger, I guess. I don't know why, I just I kinda, again, I've seen like tons of videos of it and everything, but I, I just kind of expected it uh, to be bigger. Not sure why. Kinda cool though. Oh, okay. So there's a little button on the side. All right. Little button right here. All right, easy enough. I do like that snap. I do like that snap quite a bit, as a matter of fact. So again, you press this button right here and pull it on out. All right, let's see what else this thing comes with. Oh, okay, yeah. So here's like the, the floppy ear dog controller thingy. Let's see how this goes here. How does this? Okay, here we go, yeah. This is kind of a, this is a weird controller. Very small, I kinda like it, but it's, it is bizarre to say the least. All right, there's the dock. Here it is. Oh, okay, so it has a little connector in the bottom. I just kind of... That's it, huh? So overall, I think I was, I was really happy with the hardware. Again, uh, I was really surprised at how small it was. And I don't know why, because I had, like, seen the videos and the promotional material and this and that. I had seen reviewers holding it, but it was just... Like, I was pulling out those Joy-Cons out of the box. I was just like, what the heck is this? Like, this is so tiny. Uh, kind of neat though. And it almost kind of justified like the whole power issue in my mind. Cause it's like, oh my God, like, you know, of course it's not gonna be powerful or as powerful as some of these other systems because, you know, they're just trying to cram so much into this tiny little space. I don't know. But let's, let's talk a little bit regarding whether or not it fulfills its potential being this, this hybrid system. You know, I played it both on the TV and also 
mobile. In fact, I actually try to do some of the things that they were showing off in that commercial where it's like the guy makes some eggs, you know, gets ready for, you know, uh, the day, get, makes his breakfast and then plays Zelda. I was literally playing Zelda and making eggs earlier. Kind of impossible to actually do that, obviously, because uh, you only have one hand and you're stirring with a spatula and it's a mess. But point being is that, you know, it does function well as both a console and a handheld. It doesn't function extremely well as like a handheld in that it's like you can't stuff it in your pocket. It's a little bit too big to be super portable, but I think you know it's portable enough. I think once I get a good screen protector and a decent case for mine, I'll more or less consider it a, a portable system. And yes, the resolution does drop down. You know, yes, it has less power to save battery when it's out of the dock, but you got to keep in mind that it's different looking at this screen and looking at this screen. You can get away with small resolution on a small screen, right? Because it, it you just don't notice it. You know what I mean? Like you kind of do, but for the most part, you don't. Overall, it's fine. Ultimately, you know, it's not truly a handheld system, but it, it's as close as you can get without actually being one. So I, I think it actually kind of does fulfill that, that, promise like it, the gimmick basically works i think and and kudos to nintendo for trying something new i think people will actually get into it i, I think i could definitely see and imagine people playing these you know uh at cons and you know easily bringing you know their their uh switches the last con i i went to i actually saw a bunch of people just with game cubes hooked up to like a small crt tv that they brought in the hallway. I, th I think if people are willing to do that, uh, they'll have no problem with the Switch, basically. Now, does it work as a console that hooks up to your TV? Yeah, definitely. The transition is pretty damn seamless, as a matter of fact. I got my Switch right here. I'm just going to pull it out. Bam. Image right there. Pop it back in. Takes a little bit longer to go from the handheld to the TV, then from the TV to the handheld, but overall, I mean, it's not bad at all. Now let's talk about the potential of the Switch. I think that it kind of started off a bit weak. Zelda was the only game I was interested in. You know, when I was in line, I was talking to some people that were gonna get Bomberman and 1-2 Switch, and I would be really interested in playing those games, but they're not, $50 games for me. I, I don't know what Bomberman on the Switch is going to give me that it wouldn't give me on the Super Nintendo or like the PC Engine. 1-2 Switch seems like a really fun drunken party game, but not for $50. So I do think that there's, you know, by the end of the, this year, there'll be a lot of great games. Mario Odyssey seems good. I think there's a lot of potential for the, you know, third party developers to jump on board. And I really do, do hope that that actually happens. But what do you guys think? Do you think that it's going to be like the Wii U and there's going to be a lot of promise and then it's going to fade? Or do you think this is going to be the killer app that actually, you know, or the killer system, I should say, that actually entices these people to come on board and, and, and develop for it? And... The other area of potential that I wanted to talk about was not as much the marketplace, but its power, right? Obviously, as systems age, you know, developers understand how to push the system a little bit more. So do you think there's still some juice left in this thing? I mean, Zelda looks great, right? But I also understand that it is a port, an enhanced port of a Wii U game. You know, I'd like to see where, you know, the developers take the Switch down the line. Last but not least, I wanted to give my predictions for Switch 2.0. You know, eventually when Nintendo realizes there's some flaws with this thing, where are they going to take the system next? What's the upgraded model? I got three guesses, and you can let me know your, your guesses in the comments below as well. One, longer battery life. Everyone's complaining that in handheld mode, like, you get a couple hours depending on the game, and that's it. Right? That, that's an issue if you want it to be functional as a handheld. Two, I think they're gonna fix the stand in the back. It's super flimsy, not as flimsy as some people are making out to be, but it, it feels cheap. I think they're either gonna fix the kickstand or have two flimsy kickstands. So like, instead of it all, the whole weight being on one flimsy kickstand, it'll be on two flimsy kickstands and it'll be at least a little bit more evenly distributed. Three, I think there's gonna be a little bit of a power boost that they give it. Maybe they 
bump up the CPU or a little more memory or something like that. But I think that the actual stats of the system need to be higher in the second version. Also more, more storage, realistically, too. Uh, so memory, CPU, and storage all need a little bit of a boost here because, you know, the Switch is kind of already being lapped. You know, the other systems, competitor systems are already had in terms of power, but it's going to be lapped just over and over and over again. And I really feel that if Nintendo wants to continue enticing third-party developers to port games to the Switch, it has to at least have a, somewhat of a baseline for power. And if it doesn't keep up its baseline, I feel like they're going to be like, all right, well, we're just, we just have to strip so much out of this game to make it functional on the Switch. Why would I even bother? So I, I do think that you're going to have to give it a little bit of a boost. A little bit of a boost. So wrapping up here, you know, my overall thoughts on the Switch are that I'm pretty damn excited for it, honestly. I'm, I'm excited to jump into this a little bit more. I'm excited for Mario Odyssey. I truly am. I'm worried. I'm really worried about it too, but I'm really excited. You know, we'll just have to see where it goes, basically, and what Nintendo's able to do with it. I think Nintendo, if they could just get that win, just get that win with this system, I think they'll be back on top, and I'm excited for that. Uh, so let me let me know what you think in the comments below regarding all of this in terms of my predictions and let me know what games you bought and, you know, if you got Bomberman or 1-2-Switch or whatever. Just Dance. Let me know what you think about those games. And other than that, thank you for subscribing. You know, uh, thank you for clicking the, no the notification button so you know when our videos are coming out. And we'll see you next time. Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and a share. And we will see you guys next time.